to the channel guys crypto lightsaber back with another video i want to talk to you about a token on the ethereum network called pika and this will be the first ethereum network token that i've covered in a little while i'm pretty excited about this token and um, it's available to buy on uniswap they actually have an ecosystem um, um built around this whole thing so there's actually more than one token i'm personally invested in the pika token and i'll explain to you why in just a little while so pika crypto is an erc20 project that has a whole ecosystem to it this ecosystem has three different coins we've got pika funder and rye the aim is to revolutionize the mean coin market we are setting a standard with nft card booster packs evolutionary staking and deflationary tokenomics which is just some of our electrifying features members of pika crypto have unlimited choices in how they decide to profit you can evolve to our funder and rye coins these allow you to access rarer NFTs and booster packs. Alternatively, you can stake, allowing you to receive passive income every fortnight, um, bot free due to the 2.25% entry and exit fee, so no need to worry about being uh, front run. Uh, what you can actually do is you can go onto the staking interface and you can either stake your Pika tokens uh, full disclosure, I'm not actually staking, I'm buying and I'm just holding. There's been times where I've staked tokens before prematurely without doing the research properly and I found that my tokens were locked in. So I always make sure I do extensive research before I stake to find out all the ins and the, uh, the, ins and the outs. These are very quick videos, so um, I can't really explain everything to you about staking, having read the white paper, all that sort of stuff. This is just a face value. You, but you can stake your tokens to earn more pika tokens all right you can't actually stake the funder tokens at the moment but you can buy them on the open market if you want to to swap your pika tokens for funder tokens because these tokens work together as an ecosystem you can evolve your tokens and what that does is it burns your pika and then it basically transfers into funder the conversion rate at 10,000 pika equals to one funder the third token is the ride token which uh, conversion rate is 1,000 funder equals one right? Okay, so the tokenomics are different, of course, on each token, uh, but they do kind of balance out in terms of, you know what to expect when you are evolving uh, or when you are buying the other tokens, all right? Well, I think it makes sense to buy Pika because I believe that price appreciation will obviously happen more as more people lock in their tokens for staking. There's more chance of Pika going up all right, you can buy Funder and get the price appreciation out of that as well. However, if you're buying Pika, it's more or less peg to Funder at that conversion rate. Uh, obviously, it's a little bit uh, different in terms of tokenomics, but you can just involve your Pika tokens to Funder if you do want to switch into Funder. All right, it probably might make sense just to hold a bag of each, but um, I guess the team are going to be doing what they need to do to keep the um, the conversion rate the same. You know, so so there's going to be some sort of mechanism built into the tokenomics to balance it all out so that all these these tokens interact with each other at the you know designated conversion rates if we go back to the website what is gamefi so gamefi is a term coined by the pika team to describe its ecosystem the term gamefi is a combination of two words gaming and finance the gaming part derives from users being able to do a variety of things with their coins users can state to gain more evolve too much rarer coins using a fixed conversion rate and use their coins to buy nfts for our soon to come trading card game there are different ways of playing the game many ways to financially profit okay and calling themselves the pioneers of game so this will probably be the first place you've heard that term game we all know about the term DeFi, decentralized finance this is game gaming finance of course uh the pika based on the Pikachu character, but obviously because of copyright and trademark and all that sort of stuff, they have to kind of keep the brand based on Pika, but you can see the kind of, uh, uh, um, the tail of Pikachu kind of built into the logo, or at least that's what I believe it's supposed to represent. But um, we know about uh, Pokemon and Pokemon cards, so Pika, they're gonna have rare NFT cards. Not sure what the artwork's gonna look like because they haven't released any examples but I know if we go to the uh, NFTs, they do at least have early examples of the, uh, the the ones that are based on the actual brand, okay? So no special characters or anything like that. You've got the P and you've got the Funder, okay? So you've got the P for Pika, 
you've got the lightning bolt for thunder and of course they're probably going to do another one for rai these are available for you to bid on and buy as well on the blockchain already if you'd like to do that okay it is on coin gecko um already okay but they need to uh kind of um update the analytics in terms of market cap you can see on dex tools that it's got a fully diluted market cap of just under 12 million at the time of recording this video all right guys and of course let's have a look at the chart so it does have that kind of rounded formation at the bottom but if we just kind of zoom out you know in my opinion that's basically just going sideways waiting for a nice move to the upside on this token funder token is available to view on dex tools as well the chart looks a little bit similar to this as well and of course these tokens are kind of pegged to one another as well guys so obviously bear that in mind um if we go back to the website uh, one last time featured on dex tools like we just looked at coin gecko coin market cap is listed on uniswap xt.com and there will be a uh, listing on coin tiger exchange tomorrow i believe if we go to telegram it says that it's listing tomorrow at 2 p.m on the 8th of june 2021 yeah the deposits traded and withdrawal will go live on this tomorrow okay hopefully we can get some price action out of that uh, the Telegram community has 7,220 members, so massive community. I reckon that that is going to grow, all right? And uh, they've got some FAQs, right? So don't ask me in the comments. Go over to the website and check that out before. If you don't, if, you st if there's still something you're looking for an answer for, please, please, please ask them in the Telegram group. I'm sure somebody will be able to help you. In terms of the ROI on staking, which I forgot to mention, it depends on how many users are staking. So, of course, that will fluctuate um, it would be good if they did put an, you know, an estimated ROI at least at the time of, uh, you know, you, you, your initial stake. That would definitely get a lot more people into the contract, in my opinion. All right, but uh, if you do have any questions, of course, like I said, ask them in the Telegram group. All right, guys, make sure you set your slippage as well to 2.5% on Uniswap so you don't run into any problems or issues uh, when buying this token. All right, there is a video that you can watch here which explains GameFi a little bit more. The developer on this is non-anon as well. Uh, there are interviews and things that you can watch on YouTube. If you type in Pika token, uh, you can check them out uh, on YouTube. And that guy seems to be quite a uh, quite a nice guy and um, definitely has the right intentions. So like I said, any questions you have, ask them in the Telegram group. But that's about it for now. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like and comment, hit the little bell for notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next video.